Hey there my awesome fans. Microsoft Sam here. And Pixel Art Builder 583 here as well. I am going to be the guest star of this episode. That's right. My buddy Pixel Art Builder 583 will be joining us in this episode to go to a sandstone village we found a few weeks ago. But first we need to kill away those aggressive mobs in order to proceed. Ouch, where did that baby zombie come from? I don't really know. It spawned by itself, but I don't know where it spawned. It's a complete mystery. Well, let's not worry about that now. We've got a village to get into. And even swimming in this river is the key to getting to the village. And I also know that the village we found is here somewhere. First we have to walk through this way of the desert in order to get to that village. This village is bound to be behind those hills, Pixel. I can just feel it. Well, what do you know? This village is actually behind those hills. You, how did you know? Because I know all the correct directions since we found this village. To make facts better, I've got the world map built in my virtual electronic desktop. So with that, we had a better chance of getting there in no time. Whoa, I never knew you had a, a Minecraft world map built into your desktop. I should check that out sometime. It's never too late. Want to learn more about that? Here's the info. This map doesn't have just this world, but all other worlds as well. No matter which world you play in or create, the connectors off my monitor will change the map screen and keep track of which world you are playing at. Well, this does make loads more sense. Well anyways, here we are at this village. What we are going to do there is that we're going to trade some villagers some stuff. Hello villager, I would like to exchange some butter for two emeralds. Here you go sirs, two emeralds. Oh, yes. We forgot to bring our iron chest plate to this village. Relax. There's an iron chest plate somewhere in this village. Mm, that place the chest plate must be. The place with the furnaces, iron bars, fences, and lava. We don't have that much hole. We'd like to take some bread, please. There you go. Have a good day. Whoa. Looks like we have an interest in getting some wheat and stuff. What do you think, Pixel Art? Sure. Let's get some wheat and stuff before we get that chest plate. So, how much wheat and carrots do you think we would get? To me, I think we would get over a half a stack of wheat and, like, less than a half a stack of carrots. Well, I would think the same thing too, but wouldn't there be a slight error? Well, it's okay if you get your guesses wrong. And also there might be a balance between less or more seeds than half a stack. One of those two are most likely to be. Actually, there would be more of we- oh, wait, what? There would either be more or less seeds. Oh, yeah, I get- I get what you've got going on here. Well, most likely there would be a less amount of seeds. Well, it seems like we kind of got, like, enough carrots, wheat, or seeds. You're right. We should get that iron chest plate. Yes, there it actually is. The iron armor we were searching this village for, even though we were getting those seeds, wheat, and carrots. I wouldn't mind taking that bread along either. Yeah, whatever we want to take is fine. 
Hmm. We don't have enough raw beef. Besides, I'm not in the mood to kill any cows. That would also waste time in this video anyhow. Perfect. I will trade 20 wheat for one emerald, please. Thanks for your offer, guys. Have a good day. Wait, we like to get some more from you. Okay. If you need anything else, I'm always here. So, what do you think, Sam? Should we get more seeds, wheat, and carrots? Well, sure. But there would be less of those growing this time. Well, what do you know, why not we explore this village for a little bit? We sure have got to find a lot to trade next, while getting those seeds, wheat, and carrots. Huh, we don't have books either. I wish we made some sooner. And we don't have emeralds for certain stuff either. What do we have to do now? Oh no, it's raining. Well, in other biomes it's raining, but not in desert biomes like this it's not. Hey, I have an idea. How about we go into creative mode and easily acquire stuff to trade? Creative mode, that's it. Pixel art, you're a genius. Let's get some stuff to trade to villagers. <laughs> We're gonna cause a trading mayhem. Oh, did you just hear that? There's thunder booming and lightning crashing. Yeah, we also ought to turn down the sound so that the viewers can hear us more. Whatever villagers require, we acquire them from creative inventory. Oh yeah, we also need that stack of wheat, so that we won't be able to get some wheat from the farming again. Oh yes, one guy needs some gravel in order to get some flint from him. Oh yeah, we forgot about the books. Here, let me get those guys out. What else should we get? Alright, uh, I think we should get, like, iron and butter, yada yada yada. I can suddenly feel night falling. Get ready to teach those pesky mobs a lesson or two. Hello there. We would like some apples. Here you go. Please be sure to come back. There's lots we can give to you. Oh, I suddenly feel there might not yet be monsters causing mayhem upon this village, which is a good thing. Oh man, I hope there are no zombies coming. They infect us villagers when we keep getting hit by them. But luckily, there are iron golems here to teach those babies a lesson. We are also here to kill those zombies. Good. When those zombies come after you finish trading with them or people, be sure to give those brain eaters a smack on the face. We have swords. Those will do more effective damage to zombies than anything else. Oh yeah. When zombies come after you all of us, give them all a stand in the entire body. 
We will do that to all aggressive mobs that come out at night or while we explore strongholds, caves, dungeons, swamplands, plains, deserts, forests, extreme hills, ice plains, tigers, jungles, anywhere we both go. Well, that does explain everything about all of your adventures. Yeah, I know it does. But Alice, we need to get the chest plate we found enchanted into protection too. Oh yeah, <laughs> we also forgot to bring our iron pickaxe to this village. We didn't need that anyway. We would also like some more apples, please. You are most welcome, but you must go out there and obliterate those zombies before they eat us. Don't you fear, guys. We will take care of this madness once and for all. What? Eat my sword, zombies. Wow. You saved me from those zombies. Thanks, a bundle. And while you're trading some emeralds, I'd like to give you some chicken. Wow, thank you. Glad you came to this village. Oh no, a broken down door. But luckily, no one was there, or else those awful zombies would corner them and infect them. Wow! Good job for killing those zombies! No problem, guys. Whatever trouble comes, we will stop that. Oh yes, we would like to give some of our fish to get some emeralds, please. No problem. And you can get whatever you want since you saved me from those zombies. Oh yeah, one more emerald. For another seven cooked chicken, please. Oops, sorry that I bumped into you. That's okay. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes, especially while they go on their adventures. Alpha, how about I trade this gravel and these emeralds I have and get all this flint? There you go. Enjoy your flint. I have too much stuff for that flint and steel. We might not need the flint and steel, but we should throw some stuff out of the inventory. Let's go and disintegrate those zombies once more. You guys infect those villagers. We're gonna teach you both a lesson. Ooh, a little more wheat. Yeah, take that, zombie. The three of you are all free. Thanks for that. Would you like some bread? Sure, why not? Would you also like some of my bookshelves? Sure. Let me measure the price for seven bookshelves. That's 21 emeralds. Now, feel free to have a good day. I'd also like this clock, too. Alright, we both gotta go home now. See you all again sometime. Bye guys, be sure to come again. Man, we had a good time in this village, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. We got lots of stuff from those guys. Yeah, I know. They were all real nice people.
So, what are we going to do, since we are going home? Wait, you mean after the video is over? Yes. Well, we're going to like go back to building the cinema we were working on in my other world of Friday the 13th. There are some bad guys here. Let's wipe all of them out with our swords. You wouldn't dare to kill me. Too late. Your soggy old brain just got destroyed. I will knock you both out with a shovel. Your shovel is too weak to knock us out. Ugh, a creeper exploded again. Let's not worry about that now. Besides, we can fix the damage off screen, and when we're free. And as before, let's swim across this river in order to get to our house. Ha! Nothing can stop the great and powerful Microsoft Sam. I hope you keep feeling the power of my sword. So, let's put all of the stuff we traded and got into this chest. Well, except the food. Whoa, we had two slots of wheat for the whole time? Whoa, I did not see that one coming. It's time we started making a second chest. You're right. Some of that stuff doesn't fit anyway. As before, we're going to make two chests. And we'll make it a double chest. Voila. We made a brand new chest. Now there's a 100% chance of anything getting inserted here. Well, it looks like we're running out of time here. So, let's end this episode off right here. I've been Pixel Art Builder 583 And I've been Microsoft Sam. See you as some people in the next episode. Peace out.
for the past. 